maximizing your warm market list. How to get the most out of it. is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. Years ago, and it really wasn't that long ago, there was someone I knew that reached a significant income. I mean, probably close to three hundred to four hundred thousand a year um, in a company I was in, and he was um, sponsored by the guy who sponsored me, and and went on to you know have a very successful business. And one of the things he was well known for, he was somebody who never ran an ad, he never cold contacted anyone, made any cold calls or stalked anyone in public or used the three foot rule or begged friends and family. You know, he never did any of that stuff that quite often uh, we're encouraged to do. And he still was able to make it and he wasn't a huge center of influence either. He was average maybe slightly above average in his, uh, you know, influence in, in, in his center, uh, uh, in his circle. And he was on the younger side as well. So how did he go out there and produce uh, seven or eight or nine successful organizations uh, stemming from himself and make that three or 400,000 a year at the time? Again, this was you know, not in the last five or 10 years, this was a little before that, maybe 20 years ago, which for me is not that long ago, honestly, but truly it was about 20 years ago. How did he do that without all this, you know, it was long before Facebook was ever thought of. How did, how did he go out there and have so much success without doing all the typical junk that we're often encouraged to do? Well, John was able to go out there and maximize his warm market list. He was able to get the most out of it because he went at it with a game plan that uh, was very successful. And what he did was he humbled himself and he made a huge list for what he would typically think he knew as far as the amount of people. He sat down and kept jogging his memory and jogging his memory and jogging his memory. What about my cousin Bill? What about my Aunt Sally? What about my uh, old boss? What about my father's old boss? What about my Sunday school teacher? What about, you know, my old neighbors? And he just, what about people I used to work with or I work with currently? And he went down a huge list and just kept memory jogging it thinking of people. And here's why he was able to do that better than most, because he wasn't thinking of, are they going to be interested? He wasn't even thinking of, would they want his product? He wasn't even thinking of giving them a full presentation. He was thinking of going in with humility and asking for their help. And how that looked like was simple. He did two things. Well, he did three. He made a list not of people he was going to approach, but of every single person he could think of in his life that knew his name. And then he went to those people with humility and he said, listen. And the third thing he did was he, he opened up with his reason for why he started his business. He said, look, you know, I graduated from college uh, I, you know, my, I, I became, you know, whatever his profession was and it's not turned into what I hoped it would be. Honestly, it's this, this, and this. So I ran into someone that I knew that was very, very successful in a home-based business. And I found, I tried some of his products. I really, really liked them. This is what they did for me. And I, you know, I'm not talking about you being interested in anything. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to get you 
in anything. But you know, I'm just tired. I don't want to burn out. I don't want to hate my life. And I was wondering, you know, I've considered you somebody I respect. And I was wondering if you would, you know, not be against the idea of of trying to help me a little bit, be one of my cheerleaders, be somebody that can help me. And what I'm, what that looks like is I was just wondering if you could help me think of someone that you know that I could go to or think of someone's, you know, anybody that you know that maybe might remotely be interested in making some extra income or maybe might remotely be interested in better health. And I would, you know, I'm not going to pressure. I'm just simply going to be so relaxed. I was wondering if you could introduce me to somebody. I would appreciate it or be thinking about it. And I'll get back to you next week and see if you can think of two or three or four people um, that might be open to just getting some information. That's it. I won't pressure anyone. I will promise you I'll handle them with class um, as, you know, as uh, you know, as you know, I would. And he went to everyone because, you know, I'm just, I'm not good enough to do, I'm not a salesperson and I just don't know how to do it like some people, but I, I know I could talk to some people if I get some help. So I'm asking some of the people I really like, respect and think the world of for a little bit of help. And I was just wondering if I can count you into somebody that will try to help me. And that's not verbatim exactly, but that was the essence. Very, 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 very close to that. The, what he communicated was, I was having some pain in my life. I found something that had uh, that I feel is a fit for me. I'm really wanting to, to succeed, but I'm really not into selling. I'm not into sales. I respect you. I care about you. And I was wondering... Would you be against the idea? Would you, you know, would you be opposed to trying to help me? And I would greatly appreciate. If you can't, I understand. He took pressure off of him, but I would greatly appreciate it if 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 you could try to help me. I, it would mean the world to me. So he went in with this humility. He went in with this explaining what he was doing and why, and then let him know that he didn't like selling, but he knew with a little bit of help from a few select people that he thought the world of he had a shot and he was wondering if they could get on his team and you know be his advocate be his help him if they thought of some people and and he set up a time to get back to him some of them gave them names then some of them never did and some gave him names when he checked back with them next week as he said he would so john was able to take a list of i don't know 30 50 100 150 people and he was able because of the referrals to have enough people to show the business to, to actually have six, seven, eight, nine very successful organizations and go out there and make, you know, three, 400,000 a year, um, and, and get his freedom and have a success story. And he worked with those people and he worked with those people and he worked with those people until he had six of those organizations actually at a very, very uh, lucrative, uh, large place, successful place. So I just wanted to give some fuel for thought how to maximize your warm market list and maybe go about it or consider going about it a different way. Uh, It tends to open up your mind and think of more people because you're not going to be trying to sell them. Get a memory jogger, write down those names, and, and if you're willing to humble yourself, as we said earlier, the meek shall inherit the earth. If you can humble yourself, you can get people who will fight for you and try to help you. If you go off with this haughty, I've got something you don't know. I've got something you haven't seen. Wait till I show you what's so awesome that you don't know about. Your presentations are not going to go very far. So I guess today is having that formula. Maybe listen to this again, take some notes and devise your own game plan and maximize because with that, you might not ever need a lead. You might not ever need to, 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 you know, do anything crazy or anything uncomfortable, just humility and leading in with the reason you're doing the business will make sense to people. And then simply asking for their help. Will they fight for you since this is not something that you, you don't like selling. And I think you're going to find that um, this may be the approach for many, 
in many circumstances that you'll want to go. And with that, that's today's podcast episode, and it's maximizing your warm market list. Until tomorrow or until the next podcast, I invite you to join me in the journey. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 Days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.